Hello Taurus, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions towards you and possible next actions in the near future. Uh, keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, let's jump in. Spirit, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please, for tarot, for tarot, for Taurus. <laughs> in love, spirit, please, messages for Taurus when it comes to love. What does Taurus need to know, spirit, for love? What does Taurus need to know? What's going on for them in love? Faith, trust, and surrender. First card, okay. Bottom of the deck, we have intuitive, instinctive, and perceptive. This is from my Stellar Rainbow deck, and um, these two cards together, faith, trust, and surrender with uh, intuitive, I feel like um, spirit is speaking to your intuition here. Um, and maybe spirit is asking for you to have faith, to trust in whatever the situation is, Taurus. Oh, wow. We have the lucky card that came out. Okay. Let me pick another card or two more cards here. What else for Taurus? What's going on for Taurus in love? Spirit, what's going on for Taurus in love? Oh, we have happy ending, abundance, joy, fulfillment, and divine timing. Wow, yeah, two spiritual cards here. Trust and divine timing. I feel like this is what Spirit wants you to have faith in, in the timing of things. Um, that eventually there will be a happy ending for you, Taurus. Okay, so let's clarify all of these energies. Give me some insight, please, Spirit, for Taurus. What do we need to know, Spirit, for Taurus in love? Tell me about this faith energy. What do we need to know about this faith energy? What do we need to know? Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, you always get this card, the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me more about faith. What do we need to know about this energy? Six of Wands. Success, recognition. This is security. This is financial success. This is um, a bit like if you're an entrepreneur, success there. I feel like this is what you've waited for. Three of Wands. Page of Swords. Interesting. Um, this could also be you in a long-term commitment here. We'll clarify with my clarifier deck. But first, let's put the, the cards down here. Tell me about happy ending. Why is happy ending here? Ace of Swords. Okay. Why is happy ending here? Okay, we have Queen of Cups and the Three of Wands. So I feel like if this is what you're waiting for, it's coming. When I put down this Ace of Swords card, I thought of victory. Um, victory in love, victory with within yourself. Tell me about divine timing. It's almost like maybe there's a very important conversation that you have with someone that leads to a happy ending here. This could also be some sort of emotional breakthrough that leads to happy ending. I'm seeing all these things, but I'll clarify more. Tell me about the divine, divine timing card. Why is divine timing here? Why is divine timing here? Wow, Ace of Cups. 
Why is divine timing here? Why is divine timing here? Six of Pentacles. Wow. So I feel like eventually there will be a love that is fair, balanced with the Six of Pentacles. What you give, you receive. This is a card about give and take. So this looks good so far. This looks good so far. Let's clarify. Let me not get ahead of myself. Taurus have been having some very interesting readings lately. <laughs> um... Well, for the most part, not all of them have been the same, of course, but. Spirit, help me clarify, please. Cl clarify these energies for Taurus. What do we need to know, Spirit? Let's say clarity, please. For Taurus. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups reversed. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Nine of Pentacles reversed. What else for this Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Wands? Spirit, give me some clarity, please, for these two. Uh-huh. The High Priestess. Okay. Wow. Ten of Swords reverse to the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> ah. Five of Swords reverse after that. <clears throat> Sorry, I just lost my voice there. And the Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So what I'm seeing here, Taurus, is you have been dealing with a situation that has kept you stuck emotionally. Um, I also see you in some sort of an attachment that has been emotionally draining, um, emotionally difficult for you. Uh, I feel like your intuition is very strong at this time. I feel like, um, especially I feel like this intuition is helping this Queen of Cups be upright here. I feel like I see a progression. Um, I feel like you're focused on success. Like all you can think about is how you can be successful with whatever desire you have right now. And I feel like part of that success is to overcome a struggle, a difficulty, a conflict, a situation that maybe wasn't fair to you. Someone might have played dirty here. And I feel like you're overcoming this. This might have led to an ending or a difficult cycle that ended here, but you're ready to move forward. Um, I think that, you know, it, it hasn't been perfect. I see you being very guarded and protective of yourself here. I see you maybe having to save your money or um, maybe finances aren't exactly where you want them to be here. But I think eventually you're going to be free of this. Especially with this Ace of Swords here. Can you give me some insight into the Ace of Swords, Queen of Cups, and Three of Wands for Taurus? Tell me about the Ace of Swords, Queen of Cups, and Three of Wands. Ten of Wands. Tell me more about these energies. Yeah, Ten of Swords reverse again. This sword is going to help you cut all of this out, I feel. And I think this was like a long time coming with the Ten of Swords, the Three of Wands here. I think finally you listen to your intuition or you rebalance yourself emotionally here. Yeah, the full freedom. If you're if you're wondering if you're going to have a new beginning here, um, it's coming. It's going to take work and effort on your part, though, um, with the Ace of Swords. I feel like this is you using this sword. Because you need to cut this out. Whatever has been weighing you down. And this could lead to new love with the Ace of Cups. Like I see that, that possibility here. 
Tell me about this Ace of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Like, like a love that is fair and, and balanced to you. A love, a lover or a partner that gives you what you put in as well, you know? Wow, we have the Emperor, Aries energy. Tell me about the Ace of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Wow, the King of Pentacles. <laughs> Yeah, like this is um this is a, tr a true partner. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. See, it's like someone that's just exactly like you or brings just as much to the table as you do. You could end up getting married to this person. This could be somebody older, wiser, masculine energy for sure. Tell me about the Ace of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. Five of Swords with the Tower. Ooh, okay. Let me get one more for this Seven of Pentacles reverse. Can I get one more for this Seven of Pentacles reverse? Can I get one more for this Seven of Pentacles reverse? I think this is the divine timing part. Five of Cups reverse. Justice reverse. Okay. So um, I feel like with, okay, justice reverse, Libra energy, four of pentacles, there could be a legal situation that takes some time here. Um, there could be a situation that still needs to rebalance them, itself with time because things are not going to be perfect. I think that's why divine timing is so important because it's not going to happen overnight, this, this new love. Um, you might even be wondering if it's ever going to happen for you or if you're ever going to be, you know, truly over the past, truly done with the past. And you will. You will. It's just going to take some time. Um, and Spirit, I feel, yeah, Six of Pentacles just showed up here. Six of Cups right there too. Spirit is, is um, giving you some insight that, you know, trust in divine timing. You will need to have faith here, Taurus. The tower reverse and judgment. Exactly. I feel like there was, it's almost like um, this could have been a karmic situation that you've been in. Um, and I feel like spirit has been helping you overcome this. Death at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio energy. Exactly. Like spirit is going to help you with whatever change or ending or tower that you need to make happen here. You need to have faith. So let's get some insight into this person that either you're dealing with or will be dealing with. Spirit, what do we need to know about the person that Taurus is or will be dealing with in love here? Because I see new love for a lot of you. I see very beautiful um, connection with the Ace of Cups, Six of Pentacles. You have the Happy Ending card here. What do we need to know about this person that Taurus is or will be dealing with? Spirit, what do we need to know? What do we need to know, Spirit, for Taurus about this person? We have the devil, Capricorn energy. What do we need to know about this person that Taurus is or will be dealing with? Ten of Swords. Okay. So this is the person that you need to break free from, I feel. Or the person that you had a difficult ending with. I'm not going to call them a devil because that's just, it's too easy. But they could be a Capricorn. <laughs> um, more than anything, I feel like this is just an attachment that has kept you a bit restricted, a bit stuck. Um, bottom of the deck, I have the Nine of Pentacles. So yes, I see you free of this person. I see you free of this connection. Um, I have the Ten of pen Pentacles after that. This could be um, a long-term commitment you've been with, you've been in. What do we need to know about this person? Tell me more, Spirit. I don't think this is the person. I mean, you could be, um, after an ending, you could be meeting a Capricorn. But I think this is the person you're dealing with right now. That's what I'm picking up here. For, for most of you. Page of Pentacles. 
Yeah. Knight of Pentacles and the Moon. Yeah, I feel like after you end things with this person, there's a new opportunity down the line. Some of you are going to be doing better financially or you get like an offer here. With the moon, we have Pisces energy. Why the moon? This person could also be trying to make you an offer. And this could be an illusion, so be careful. You know, maybe you, you tell this person, I want to end things. Um, or it's time for this to end, whatever this is. And they might try to bring you an offer here. Tell me about the moon. This is why it's important for your intuition to be strong, Taurus, so that you're able to spot this if it were to come in. The lovers, Gemini energy. Tell me about the moon. Nine of cups. Ace of cups. This could be the new person too. Nine of wands. Okay, no. So I, I'm seeing it both ways. I'm seeing it both ways. Some of you, this is someone that is going to try to come back or, or, or be on their best behavior. I see them trying to give you whatever it is that you're asking for. Um, yeah, seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is more of the same though. I wouldn't trust this. Um, be very careful. This could also be because maybe you have someone else waiting in the wings. Um, maybe there's another opportunity here for you and this person doesn't want you to take it. So they come in to confuse you. Be very careful with this energy. So what's next? What's next spirit for Taurus? What's next for Taurus in love? What's next for Taurus in love, Spirit? What's next for Taurus? Okay, we have the Three of Cups. What's next for Taurus in love? Eight of Cups. I see you walking away here, Taurus. Now, Taurus, keep in mind you can flip the energies throughout this whole reading. I forgot to say that earlier. This could be your person instead of you, okay? So just take it as it resonates. But I feel for most of the Taurus, Tor, Taurians that I'm speaking to, um, I feel like you're ready for something else here. What's with this Three of Cups, though? What's with this Three of Cups? Why is this Three of Cups here? The Emperor. Ah. Aries energy. Why is the three of cups here? The emperor shows up again. The lovers. So this could be somebody that you meet. You could maybe start dating or maybe you meet this person through a friend or you meet them at a networking event or school or work or something like that. You might even be meeting multiple people here. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. But this Emperor, I'm telling you, like they're they're bringing their A game. Page of Swords. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Page of Swords is a card about important communication, research education intelligence you know looking things up observing the fool yeah it's almost like you're doing research on how you know what to do with once you walk away from somewhere it's like where are you gonna go what's next because i feel like you're gonna be yeah it's, this is a difficult situation five of swords eight of swords there might be fear here um this will be a risk for you there might be fear doubt um and uncertainty about what options with the seven of cups which cup to choose 
What option is the best option for me? Where do I go next? What do I do? Um, I feel like there's going to be, you know, there's going to be those questions for you. Can I get one more for this emperor? Because I'm so like intrigued. <clears throat> Can you tell me one more spirit? Can you get some clarity, please? On this emperor. Five of swords. Can you get one more? Eight of wands. Three of swords. Two of cups, bottom of the deck. Yeah. And the ace of wands. Look at that energy. I feel like when this person comes in, I feel like there, there might be a little bit of drama here. Yeah, the Empress. There might be a little bit of drama here because I feel with the Three of Swords, Three of Cups, you might be dealing with an interference here. And it could be your pers the person you're dealing with now. I don't know if this new this Emperor energy, it's almost like they're going to come in and in the middle of all of this difficulty that you're experiencing, um, Taurus. But I think this is a very important person in your life. I don't know if this is, I mean, this could be a love interest. I do pick that up, but this could also be a powerful friend, um, someone official, someone with authority. This could be a, a boss, a leader of some sort, um, a father figure for some of you. And I think that they're almost like going to come in to help you. 